Alrighty, hello people. So for today's video, we're going to work on drawing a crane. Um, you need your paper and something to draw with. I'm going to continue drawing with this pen like always. So get yourself ready. This is kind of what we're aiming for. So here we go. We're going to start out drawing the number two. So you're going to start out drawing number two going like this stopping and then going straight back so you got a big number two then you're going to start here at the end and you're going to curve back and going up toward the two but you're going to stop make sure you got plenty of room then you're going to curve and you're going to follow beside this line going straight down like this when you get here you're gonna stop so that's what's gonna to start to look like then you're gonna go back here and you're gonna go up and down one two and three except you're gonna keep going keep going keep going and you notice how it curved it's not straight down it's a curve then what you're gonna do you're going to take this line and you're going to go and you're going to curve up until you meet that line. So that's the body and the neck and the start of the head of your crane. Next thing you know, we're going to draw the wings. What you're going to do is you're going to pick a point that's below this line. So I'm going to put a dot there. This is where I'm going to start. And I'm going to put a dot down here where I want my wing to end. I want my wing to end somewhere down here. So we're going to put a dot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to curve until we meet this dot. All right. You ready? I'm just going to take it and curve. Go down. And then we're going to start to go back up and meet that dot. After we've done that, you're going to go one, two, three. Show feathers where the wing was. Now I have a little bit of a bleed on mine because I'm using this type of pen. Hopefully you don't have that. But if you do, what you can do is you can actually go one, two, three right there where it's tucked in, where the wing is tucked into the body. Okay, now we're going to go right here where this point is, where our lines met. And you're going to take a line and you can go straight down. And you're going to put another line right beside of it, straight down. And you want to just go over. Now we're putting it as though this foot's in the water, so we're going to do a little squiggly, wavy line in the water so that it looks like it's in the water. We're going to do another one, and then we're going to do another one, and we're going to do another one. And you want to leave it so that there's space between all the little water lines. So it looks like it's standing in water. And we're going to go up here and you're going to pick a point in the middle. You're going to draw the eye and we're going to color it in. We're also going to leave just a little bit of it white. So you want to color it in and leave a little bit of it white. I made a big eye. You can make a small eye or a really big eye. It's your choice. Next, we're going to go right here at the head. And you're going to go one, out like that, real long. See how far I went out? It's going to come out past the body. And you're going to come back like you're drawing a triangle. A nice, thin, skinny triangle, like that. And then you just go back to the point again. And you draw a line that splits it in half. Just like that. Now we got to draw the other leg. So you're going to come back here. And you're going to go one, two. And the second line you're going to make a little longer than this line. See how I made it longer? You're going to come back and you're going to go this way. And this way. Then you're going to go one and two. So that it looks like the knee is bent forward like that. And then... You just go one, two, three. So 
so that its foot is out of the water. So there you go. You should now have yourself a crane. Hopefully you felt, uh, were able to follow along. i um, going to keep putting these videos out and give you guys something to do artistically. I uh, may do some more advanced stuff in the future. Whatever you do, please stay safe. Please be creative. Um, and try to uh, make it a good day.